This video is so scary, but he was too strong and fast. He got in and started beating her up, throwing her around like a rag doll. She was screaming and crying, but he didn't stop. He was supposed to love and protect her, but he did something horrible to her instead. Tatiana Spitzner was a smart and driven lawyer who was 29 years old and lived in Guadapuava, Brazil. She had a lot of personality and was well liked by everyone. She had a bunch of close friends and a loving family. In early 2013, she met Luis Felipe, a university biology professor who immediately caught Tatiana's eye as an intelligent, disciplined academic with rugged good looks, earned from his rigorous physical training and participation in jiu-jitsu, enchanted by Felipe's intensity and ambitious spirit mirroring her own. Tatiana fell hard and fast. Tatiana and Felipe looked like they had it all. They were both young and successful, and they got engaged and married in the same year. Felipe was crazy about Tatiana and spoiled her with gifts and plans for their dream life together. She told her friends he was her soulmate and she was totally in love with him. Felipe was proud of himself too. He would brag at the university about how he got the most gorgeous and smart woman ever. For a while they seemed perfect, but nothing is perfect. And soon enough, things started to go really wrong. At first, it was just some weird bruises on Tatiana's arm that her friends noticed. But she always had some excuse, like she bumped into something or fell down the stairs. But then, Felipe started to control everything in Tatiana's life. He made her give him all her money, saying he knew how to handle it better. He decided what she could wear, eat, do, or say. He was abusive, and it was getting worse. It was a nightmare, and it would end in a tragedy. Tatiana was stuck with Felipe's nasty mood swings for months. He was always on some kind of drugs that made him lose his temper. By 2018, Tatiana had enough. She decided to leave him for good. She tried to find a way out of the mess. She even told him she wanted a divorce. But Felipe wouldn't let her go. He kept making threats and promises. He said he would change, but he never did. He only got worse. In July 2018, things got really bad. It was Felipe's birthday on the 22nd. They were supposed to have a fun night out with their friends at a cool restaurant downtown. Tatiana wanted to look nice for him, so she went to get her nails done. But she took longer than she thought. When she got back to the apartment, Felipe was furious. He said they were late, and they had to go. They rushed to the restaurant, hoping to enjoy the night. But Felipe was still angry. He ruined the mood for everyone. Things seemed to get better as the night went on. They had drinks, food, and laughs. It looked like they were having a good time. But that didn't last long. Tatiana saw Felipe texting another woman on Instagram. She called him out in front of everyone, but Felipe acted like it was nothing. He said it was just a birthday wish and he was being polite. He acted like it was no big deal, but everyone in the room could feel something was off. Around 2 a.m. in the morning, they left the party, both drunk as skunks and landing on the sidewalk. Felipe came out a few seconds later and looked around. He saw no one was watching, so he picked up her body and took it back to his apartment. Then he came out again and cleaned the elevator. He wiped the blood from the floor and the buttons, trying to hide what he did. He went back to his apartment and changed his clothes. Then he went downstairs, got in his car, and drove away. People in the other building saw what happened and called the cops. They told them how they heard a woman screaming and saw a body fall from the ski. They saw a man check the scene and drag the woman back in seed. The cops came fast and looked for the man. They found Felipe 180 miles away when he crashed his car. He was driving crazy, trying to escape. He was drunk and scared because he knew what he did. The cops busted Felipe and he said Tatiana jumped off the balcony after they fought. He said she was jealous and wanted to kill herself but the cops knew he was lying. They found out Tatiana was dead before she hit the ground. She had been choked by Felipe. He had his handprints on her neck, which was broken. The cops had enough to charge him with murder, femicide, and lying. It took three years, but he went to trial in April 2021. The prosecutors and the advocates fought hard for Tatiana. Felipe's lawyers tried to stall, hoping people would forget, but they didn't. The trial was seven days long, the prosecutors showed everything. Texts, videos, reports. They showed how Felipe hurt Tatiana for a long time, 
until he killed her on July 22, 2018. Tatiana's friends said she was afraid of Felipe. Experts said she was dead before he threw her over the balcony. She had a broken neck and his marks on her. He was very cruel. Felipe still said Tatiana was crazy. He said she killed herself because she thought he cheated. But the jury didn't buy it. They found him guilty of femicide and obstruction. They gave him the max, 31 years, 9 months, and 18 days in jail. He also had to pay almost $25,000 to Tatiana's parents. The verdict was huge in Brazil, where women face a lot of violence. But for Tatiana's loved ones, it was not enough. They still miss her. They wish she never met Felipe, who was supposed to love her. So this is the story of Tatiana. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching.